வெர்ஜீனியா ஹிண்டர்சன் நர்சிங் நீட் தியரி அபவுட் வெர்ஜீனியா ஹிண்டர்சன் ஷி போர்ன் இன் கன்சாஸ் சிட்டி மிசோரி எயிட்டீன் நைன்டி செவன் நைன்டீன் டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் டிப்ளமா நர்சிங் ஃப்ரம் ஆர்மி ஸ்கூல் ஆஃப் நர்சிங் ஷி டிட் நைன்டீன் டுவெண்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் ஷி அவார்டட் த பேச்சுலர் சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் எம்ஏ டிகிரி இன் நர்சிங் ஆட் த கொலம்பியா யூனிவர்சிட்டி நைன்டீன் தேர்ட்டி ஃபோர் ஷி அவார்டட் த மாஸ்டர்ஸ் டிகிரி இன் நர்சிங் ஷி ஹெல்ட் வேரியஸ் பொசிஷன் சச் அஸ் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்டர் நர்சிங் சூப்பர்வைசர் எஜுகேஷனல் டேரக்டர் அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் எக்ஸெட்ரா சி ஆல்சோ ஒர்க் இன் அ சைக்கேட்ரிக் பீடியாட்ரிக் அஸ் வெல் அஸ் அ கம்யூனிட்டி ஹெல்த் நர்சிங் அட் நியூயார்க் சிட்டி ஷி டிஃபைண்ட் ஷி வாஸ் டிசாட்டிஸ்ஃபைடு வித் நைன்டீன் ஃபிஃப்டி ஃபைவ் த டெஃபினேஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் நர்சிங் பை த அமெரிக்கன் நர்சஸ் அசோசியேஷன் நைன்டீன் சிக்ஸ்டி சிக்ஸ் தி சி டெவலப்ட் ஹர் ஓன் ஹர் டெஃபினேஷன் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் த சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபிலாசபி அண்ட் மெடிசின் அண்ட் சைக்காலஜி அண்ட் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் she contributed much to the nursing but one fine time she was thinking to quit the nursing and go away but luckily 1972 she wrote the basic principles of nursing she published in a, it was published in 27 languages by the international council of nursing she also acknowledges the ida jean verlando's concept of the deliberate nurse patient relationship and hinderson was received the various recognition and the honorary doctoral degree also she continues to her uh, in uh, show uh, raise her voice in a very uh, very nursing conferences and workshops she also the first theorist included the spiritual aspects in the nursing care hinderson also emphasized the care for the both the sick as well as the well individual in the in the uh, in the hospital as well as in the community virginia hinderson is also known as the 20th century sir florence nightingale the nightingale of the modern nursing Virginia Henderson done a marvelous work towards uh, improve the improvement in the nursing profession she contributed much to the nursing profession because of her basic principles of book what she has written and it was appreciated by the indian nursing uh, international council of nursing she died in the march 19 1996 at the age of 98 the basic goal of her nursing what she is telling is make the patients complete whole and independent in turn nurse collaborate with the physicians therapeutic plan nurse assist the patients with the essential activities to maintain the health and recover from illness and or to achieve the peaceful death so her goal in nursing to motivate the people to achieve the goal she has to participatory so participatory relationship with the patients and so that his behavior will be uh, achievable assumption and need theory what she thinks she assumes that the nurse care, care for the patients until they can care for themselves how they can be independently till then the patient need nurses care patients desire to return to health and the nurses are willing to serve and nurses will devote themselves to the patients day and night she is telling we have to work very much dedicatedly she believes that the mind and body are inseparable and then it is are interrelated with each other she thinks that it will be reflect in the patient's behavior so the positive behavior will be promote his wellness Virginia Henderson's if you see theory the Virginia Henderson's 14th needs are applied in a Maslow's hierarchical theory so as i told that here nurses are uh, much will be dedicated and day and night she has to sacrifice herself for devote herself for the patients so uh, deliberately he need the nursing care so what she is telling is he, she is putting one to eight principles what she developed is to the physiolo- physio- she, uh, she related with the physiological need of the maslow hierarchical theory first one you th- think that breathe normally so if not breathing you have to help the patient give oxygen and do everything eat and drink adequately if not you have to start with the adequate uh, parental nutrition therapy and other things eliminate body waste then move and maintain the uh, maintain the desirable positions to prevent the bed sore and adequate sleep and the rest select the suitable clothing for the patient and maintain the body temperature maintain the bodily cleaning and the so grooming always and if you see the ninth one she relate with the safety needs 
avoid the dangers in the environment putting the side rails uh, or uh, your your gestures should not hurt good therapeutic environment positive approach smiling approach the good soothing words the uh, therapeutic touch so she is this all she is focusing and telling that one and and love and belongings so here she relate with the 10th and the 11th principle uh, communicate with others to they express their emotions needs fear or opinions then worship according to one's faith once the love and belonging is there then they will be very confident to express their emotion to the nurses so as she was appreciating the orlando's deliberate nursing process she also insist here she has to nurse has to identify the verbal and non verbal communication that's what she is meaning in the love and belongings then next is the self esteem here she relate the 12 and 13 and 14 here she work in a such a way that provides the sense of accomplishment and um, play or the participate in a various forms of recreations so you have to give them and uh, some games and activities more make them to think independently and motivate them and learn discover and uh, and curiosity that leads to the normal uh, development and the normal development of normal health this she can tell as a self esteem as also the self actualization why self actualization he discover himself what is normal how uh, the person can be independent he becomes the normal individual so that is why she relate with the uh, self actualization either you can write here as well as the it can be write it in the maslow's the uh, finest part of the holistic development you can say as the uh independent uh, without without the help of the nurse can independently the patient can achieve his uh, health holistic well being so the virginia in overall um overall she is talking about make the patient complete whole and independent in turn nurse collaborate with the physicians or the other physicians with the therapeutic plan when the meta paradigm virginia hendersons Uh, as a person is an individual requires the assistant to achieve the health and independent or peaceful death so she including the both well people also as well as the sick people also person and family are viewed as a unit because she is the community health nurse and psychiatric nurse she understand the psychology of the patient as well as also community also she is including person is affected by the both body and mind that's what she is telling in her theory body and mind are the inseparable interrelated with each other person consists of biological psychological social and spiritual component spiritual being she is telling so she is the first theorist accepting the spirituality person is either sick or well strives towards the independence and has certain basic needs for his survival then environment if you take an environment environment is not specifically defined by the hinderson but she involves the community she believes that uh, society wants that uh, expects the nurses to provide the sense of individualized incomparable and function to independently and environment can be affect the health so personal factors like a physical factors environment play a role in a uh, person's well being so that it is the nurses important role to give a good environment either the psychological or the social environment she is meaning that health refers to the individual's ability to function independently relations to with the 14 basic needs how he can take care of his basic needs to the self actualization need health is a quality of life that is basic to the human function so requires the health requires the strength and will and the knowledge about the nursing nursing is a primary assisting sick or well that's what she is telling nurses should be uh, much dedicatedly devoted service she has to give perform the activities which contribute to the person's health or the peaceful death nursing helps the person to be independent nursing requires working interdependently with other department she is meaning that health team members not only doctors nurse um, physiotherapist and other healthcare team members nursing requires the knowledge social science um uh, so uh, nursing requires the knowledge of social science and the uh, um, 
Nursing needs the basic training. Nursing requires the knowledge in social science and customs and religions practice and assess the possible conflict and unmeet human needs. So, nurses should have the good knowledge of the society and the customs of the individual. Nursing helps the patient to meet the basic needs which she was relating with the Maslow's principles. And the nursing is a logical and scientific approach and problem solving that result to the individual uh, individualized care. Each individual are unique. So, you have to give individualized care and at the end of the care, the patient must be in, uh, independent. And the nurse involves the use of the uh, use, uh, use of a written nursing care plan. So, she is the first theorist. That is why she is called the 20th century's modern nursing nightingale. So, application of this theory, this can be applied to the individuals of all ages. Also, this theory can be applied even in the community setup. So, overall concept, if you see the Virginia Henderson, she is known to the like a 20th century Florence Nightingale. More than American Nurses Association, she developed the basic nursing principles books. This was is a very fantastic book which has changed the uh, modern trending in nursing. She changed it accordingly and she used the Maslow's hierarchical theory and she related her principle to this theory to achieve the goal of independence by the patients but the nursing should be dedicated and she appreciate the Orlando's uh, deliberate uh, nurse patient relationship therapeutic approach but dedicatively she has to day and night give the care and she is the nurse uh, first she has uh, theorist she was really appreciating the spiritual aspect in the nursing she believes that mind and body is inseparable or the in interrelated with each other. So, this is the main concept of Virginia Henderson. Thank you.